Thanks, Kamasi. Kern County parents and students are receiving support this school year following a newly passed Senate bill. The now Bakersfield Story Cooper spoke to district officials and has more details on the benefits for both students and parents. Tori? Yes, busy parents at home, listen up. If you are struggling to get your kids fed and out the door each day for school, this story is just for you. Because starting September, several Kern County school districts are rolling out a new program to help put more food on the table for your students. And this time, it won't impact your pocket. Check it out. This is our central kitchen where we prepare um, meals to be sent out to the students. Kern High School District Food Service Director Jennifer Davis is excited about some new changes happening this school year. Kern High School District is um, opting to do both breakfast and lunch. Starting September 1st, students will no longer have to worry about paying for breakfast and lunch on campus. Now that the new Community Eligibility Provision Program is starting out in many schools across the county. Arvin, BHS, East, Foothill, Golden Valley, Highland, Kern Valley, Miramonte, North, Shafter, South and West. Not all of the schools in KHSD will be receiving free lunch and breakfast, but there will still be over 26,000 students covered for two meals a day. School officials will submit claims totaling up the number of meals served to students over the course of the school year. And then using tax dollars, the state of California will reimburse the schools that were deemed eligible for the program. Now at no cost to the school, parents will also be saving time and money. It would save them $819 a year. Following the passing of the Senate Bill 138 in October of 2017, schools with large amounts of students living in poverty within California are required to apply to operate this new universal free meal service. And Davis says it's also helping bring about healthier options for students. Added a lot of uh, hot items like a breakfast burrito, breakfast wrap, um, extravaganza. Along with special diet sensitive meals, KHSD is also scaling back from snacks like donuts and other highly processed foods to help also shift student mindsets when it pertains to living a more nutritious life. So we're hoping that the students uh, adapt a healthy lifestyle, um, come have a nutritious breakfast and lunch with us, and it will carry into their um, education and their energy for later. Other school districts like Bakersfield City, Beardsley, Standard and Taft all confirmed with us here at the now that they will also be implementing the new CEP program. I am still waiting to hear back from other school districts in Kern County at this time. But for a full list of all the confirmed participating schools, head to our website, turn to 23.com and click on the now tab or you can find it under the in-depth section on Roku. For the now Bakersfield, I'm Tori Cooper, 23ABC. Tori, thank